welcome to my youtube channel this is the first video of our new playlist specially designed for students who are studying machine design design of machine elements or any engine related subjects in this playlist we will be exploring the world of solidworks an incredibly powerful and versatile 3d modeling software used by mechanical engineers mechatronics engineers automotive engineers and industrial engineers as well so whether you are a beginner looking to learn the basics or experienced designer looking to brush up on your skills this playlist is for you in this first video we will start by introducing solidworks and its important features for beginners but before we dive in let me tell you a bit about myself my name is mohsin sohail and i am a mechatronics engineer and a diploma holder in mechanical technology I have around about eight years of experience in mechanical field and I am excited to share my knowledge with you. So let's get started. SOLIDWORKS is a 3D CAD software that allows you to create detailed and accurate models of your design. Okay, so when you open the SOLIDWORKS uh, software, this window will appear and we have uh, multiple options here, but you have to go in this file option. You can see multiple options here in this file option, new, open, and these are the list of the previously made uh, CAD models and here is the exit command as well but you have to go in this new option after selecting new this window will appear you can see here the part assembly and drawing for this tutorial I will only explain you the part and in our upcoming tutorials I will be explaining you assembly and drawing so select part and click here OK this is the environment window of the SOLIDWORKS in which we create the parts. Okay, so just drag it here. Okay. For the time being, you may not be uh, familiar with this window and the tools shown here, but do not worry about uh, anything. I will explain each and everything to you. Okay. Here we have features, sketch, sheet metal, weldments, and other multiple options. If you are missing with some option you want to use then right click here and in tabs you can select uh, any option here okay so let me tell you about the planes in the SOLIDWORKS we have front plane top plane right plane and we can also make customized plane at different angle orientation and distance uh, but for the time being the three uh, planes you need to learn about these front top and right plane these planes are necessary in order to make the sketches okay and in our sketch option we have a line circle spline rectangle and other multiple options in order to make sketches and in order to view uh, the part in different orientation we will be using this in a while so let's start sketching now select this front plane and click on this sketch option okay now we have to select a line or circle or anything i am selecting this line and just select this origin point click at this origin point and make a vertical line like this now select this point in the environment window and make a horizontal line like this move downward click here and then select this origin point and now you can see our sketch has converted into a shaded object it means that this is now ready to be converted into a 3d object let me tell you something about units so here you can see mmgs millimeter grams seconds is selected and you can see multiple other uh, unit systems are also available but i am selecting here mmgs okay but you need to select these units before making any sketch okay now let's specify the dimensions of this box for this we have to select this smart dimension option let me tell you some of the things you have to avoid do not select this highlighted point let me show you what happens when you select this highlighted point for dimensions no dimension has been appeared okay so never select this highlighted point for dimensions 
select any other point of the line like this and then click here and now you are able to specify the dimension here is the window modify just uh, select the backspace button and specify the dimension I am specifying here 50 millimeter okay and after that just click enter button and now it's time to specify the dimension of the other line select this point of the line and specify the dimension you want I am specifying here uh, 75 millimeter and after specifying the dimension just check this option and now let me show you how you can convert this 2d rectangle into a 3d object for that go to this features option and select this extruded ball space and you can see the 2d rectangle has turned into a yellow object it shows that it is ready to be converted into a 3d object okay you can see this arrow this one you can expand this you can drag it like this in order to specify the width of uh, the extrusion and you can also drag it uh, backside but let me show you how you can precisely extrude this rectangle into a 3d object for that you need to click here just uh, press the backspace of your keyboard and specify the dimension of extrusion let me show you how the size of the object changes when I change this dimension let's change it to 40 and whenever I click enter the size of this object uh, increases so after that click OK and here we have our 3d uh, rectangle now let's make uh, some other object for that cross this window and click on don't save and select here file click on new select part and click ok just we have done previously in order to make a part now select this front plane and click on sketch okay this time i am going to make a pipe for that select here this circle option and make a circle at the origin okay and click here after making the circle now we have to specify the dimension of this circle for that select this smart dimension option just we have done earlier okay and select this circle and specify the diameter of this circle the units are mmgs it means millimeter and uh, I am specifying here 50 millimeter dia and then we have to go to features and select this extruded pause space in order to convert this object into a 3d object okay you can drag this uh, arrow in order to specify the dimension but this is not a good practice the best practice is you specify the dimension here i am specifying 100 mm and after specifying the dimension just click here ok but I want to make a hollow pipe and this is a solid pipe so how we can do this you can see this is a solid pipe so let's make a hollow pipe for that select this face and click this sketch option ok and now we need to select this circle and add this highlighted origin the brown color origin we need to make a circle like this click here and select smart dimension in order to specify the diameter and specify here 40 millimeter okay now click ok and go to features and this time we have to select this extruded cut option okay in order to cut this pipe click this extruded cut option and after that click here and specify 100 because the length of the pipe is 100 and after that click ok and you can see the pipe has been created this is a hollow pipe you can see now some of the users have a problem that they cannot see this origin point so let me uh, tell you how you can fix this issue 
for that select this view option okay this view option and then go to this hide and show okay and in hide and show you can just select this origin this one okay so whenever I press this a star appear at the origin you can uh, see in the environment window a star appears and then disappears this one now this star will be still visible even I exit the sketch you can see the origin point with the star is still here. now let's select this front plane click on sketch option and make a line now you can see this origin point is completely visible you can easily view this origin point this is not going going to be hide in any case you can make any sketch here and you can see the origin is visible now in order to explain you some more about solidverse let's make another sketch select here front plane click on sketch option and now select a center rectangle for that drop down this menu and click here on this center rectangle okay after that come here to this origin and make a rectangle like this now select smart dimension in order to specify the dimensions select this line okay and specify the dimension as 10 millimeter let me tell you again that whenever you select this highlighted point for dimensioning no dimension will appear okay so select any other point of the line except this highlighted point for the dimension okay and specify here 100 mm now zoom out and after specifying the dimensions click ok now go to this features option select extruded boss base and this color has turned into a yellow one indicating that it is ready for the extrusion now you can specify the dimension for the extrusion I am specifying here 4 millimeter and after that click ok now let me show you how you can edit this sketch once you have uh, make the sketch and then you uh, think that this has become a little bit bigger or smaller so let me show you how you can edit this sketch expand this bar here right click here on the sketch option and check this edit sketch option okay let me change this dimension from 100 to 50 millimeter and after editing just exit the sketch by clicking this option and this is how you can edit the sketch in the SOLIDWORKS you do not have to delete the whole uh, sketch and remake all the sketch again okay now let's select this face okay and click on this sketch option now I am going to make circles for that select your circle select let me zoom in select this uh, point the midpoint you can see this is the midpoint and then select this corner point this one okay the circle has been created now let's make another circle select this point and this corner point and another circle has been created okay now let's convert this circle into 3d for that go to features and select extruded boss and you can see the direction of the circles should be reverse for that select this arrow option and move it to the reverse direction you have this option as well in order to change the direction of extrusion and you need to specify uh the limit of extrusion i am specifying this as four millimeter and you can see the circles have been ex extruded on this part now let's create two holes in this part for that select this face and click on sketch option 
and select this circle and just trace this line okay and after that click and make a circle like this okay similarly trace this line trace the center line and make a circle here now select this smart dimension from this point the origin point to this center point of the circle specify the distance I am specifying here 25 millimeter okay and then similarly specify the distance between these two points as 25 millimeter as well 25 okay and then specify the diameter of these circles I am specifying 4 mm okay and similarly specify this diameter as 4 millimeter as well okay and since we have to cut two holes for that we have to go to this features and select this extruded cut okay select here through all because we need through holes and then click ok and you can see the holes have been created in this part and for your practice this is your homework task you only have to make a center rectangle then you have to create two through holes by using the extruded cut option and in case you find any kind of difficulty you can tell me in the comment section this is the drawing for the part okay and this is all for today's tutorial video see you later